On tonight's Extreme Makeover, guess who nominated this candidate? Dr. Phil McGraw. She's lost nearly 16% body fat. She starred in his ultimate weight loss challenge. Dr. Phil helped heal her inside, and he asked us to fix the outside. If there has ever been a deserving person, it is Monica. She was chosen for Dr. Phil's ultimate weight loss challenge. First, there was tough love. Then, tough work. Monica lost 16% of her body fat and nearly 40 pounds in five months. I would like to have a mini facelift, and I'd like to have the eyes done to, so I can open them and not feel like I have blinders on. <laughs> 13. And I would like to have 110 and not 14. 14. Because of the weight loss, Monica's body was sagging. My breasts have become udders since I have lost this weight, and like I said, my chest has fallen and it can't get up, so I would like it perky. And uh, maybe a tummy tuck, just does uh, some liposuction. I'd love to look in the mirror just one time and say, wow, to myself. <laughs> and so we decided to surprise Monica. Are you ready for you, Dr. Perlman? If you want to okay. follow me? Right Extreme Makeover's Dr. John Perlman will tell her she has been chosen. Dr. John Perlman. I'm so pleased to be here to inform you that you have been selected to undergo an extreme makeover. I am so ready for this. Dr. Phil has truly changed the inside of my life, and I'm giving myself to you now to transform my outside, and it's just like, what a gift. And next, it took more than a talk to get this tummy to this tummy. Look, I've got a waist. And this shape to an hourglass. He gave me a really nice necklace and earrings for anniversary, and I'm bringing him boobs <laughs> in eight weeks. She is about to meet Dr. Perlman again, not in a TV studio, but his office. I'm really nervous and anxious. This is a major overhaul. I feel like I'm going in for a 50,000-mile tune-up. Well, hello, Monica. Hello. Ideally, we want patients that a good, maintainable weight for them that they're likely to stay at for a long period of time. I understand you got weighed today, and they did repeat your body fat determination. I'm quite impressed. You're down to 149 pounds. That's almost 50 pounds of weight that you've reduced. What an achievement. Thank you so much. Well, let's talk about the procedures that we'll be doing. You have a lot of extra skin present in your upper eyelids. You have some droopiness of your brows, mm -hmm. some bags under your eyes, droopiness of your cheeks, and definitely your neck. No, absolutely. Probably in part from the weight loss. So I'm going to tighten the muscles here, remove some of this fat, and lift tissues of your brow area. And also removing some of that extra skin present in your upper eyelids. So the weight gain and the weight loss has caused your breast to drop down a bit. We're going to lift you up, and we're going to put in an implant to give you more fullness. I'm ready for it. Excellent. Let me look at your thighs. We're definitely going to get rid of some of this extra fat that's present. But keep in mind that a portion of your problem is from loose skin, and that will not be improved by liposuction. We don't remove any skin, unlike your tummy tuck. What I'll be able to do is remove all of this extra skin and fat that I'm pinching, and then we'll take this loose skin and we'll pull it down to cover the remainder of your stomach. So this wide area will be gone. I hope that I've worked and earned this uh, makeover, so it's really exciting uh, payoff. Here's what Monica has earned. A brow lift, face lift with cheek pad lift, upper and lower eye lift, fat injections to the face, neck lift, chin implant, lipo, breast enlargement, tummy tuck, and later, clear skin and a wider smile. We're going to start by liposuctioning her thighs to remove some of that extra fat that's still there despite her 49-pound weight loss. And we're ready to start some of the facial work, beginning with placement of a chin implant. I'll also be taking some of the fat that I've removed from her thighs and injecting it under her cheeks. We're going to start removing the extra skin and fat from her upper eyelids. There's that little fat pad that's causing some of the puffiness in the corner of her eye. Now we're about to start by making incisions for placement of the breast implants. That looks so natural. My plan now is to start the tummy tuck. Goodbye extra padding and loose skin. Are you in any pain? No. Not at all, wonderful. Much was done over two separate surgeries, but a week later, she's about to see if the suffering was worth it. 
Well, look at you. Hi, Hello, Monica. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Now I'd like to take off the bandage so we can take a look at everything and take out those final stitches. Excellent, excellent. Oh, incisions look good. Since the last time I saw you, the swelling is starting to subside. Your eyes look gorgeous. I love your brow position and your neck, although swollen, is so dramatically improved already. Why don't you take a look? Oh my gosh. Nice. Who is that woman looking in the mirror? Nice improvement, wouldn't you say? <laughs> look at my eyes. I think they look great. They look great. You're so bright eyed now. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now take a look at your before picture. Oh, Do you recognize that lady? Good Lord. You look like a new person. Oh, I feel like a new person. You took a whole set of luggage off my head. I just had so many bags. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't believe the difference. I swear, I, I feel like I forgot what I looked like before. It's just going to be a totally different Monica at the end of this uh, journey. So I'm, I can't wait to meet the new me. <laughs> Well, I haven't heard from Dr. Phil during this uh, transformation, and uh, he has made me love life so much. I just want to make him proud, and I would just love to hear him say that. She gets her chance via videotape. Hey, Monica, Dr. Phil here. Mm -hmm. Long time no see, right? I've said before that there are right reasons and wrong reasons for people to go do plastic surgery. You may be the poster child for right reasons. You learn to love yourself and to walk with dignity and respect. And once that was in place, wanting to change the wrapper seemed like a natural extension of what you were doing. I want you to know we're really proud of you. Oh, my God. oh thank you, Dr. Phil. I respect and just adore that man so much for giving me the tools to change my life. It's just like he walks in the room and Dr. Phil helped heal Monica's emotional scars. As for her body, that was Dr. Perlman's job. Monica! Hello. You look great. I feel great, thank you. Let me take a look. <laughs> wow. Wow, fantastic. Fantastic, honey. I, it's unbelievable. Are you holding your stomach in? Mm -mm. Look, I've got a waist. What a difference in just four weeks. I love it. You may have to get a whole new wardrobe. I am. Nothing fits. <laughs> Let me check your breasts also. OK. What Holy you, moly. What do you think of that? Hello, dollies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited and they're so soft and natural. In your case, I can't even feel that there are implants there. That's success, I like that. I've decided to name them Perlman and McGraw. Perlman is over my heart. All right. Oh, thank you. A final goodbye to Dr. Perlman. Wow. I felt like a Cinderella. We're getting ready to go to the ball. And there is no turning into a pumpkin at midnight. I have the spirit of a 20-year-old, and now the body of a 20-year-old. So watch out, honey, here I come. 24 years ago, I married a beautiful woman, a uh, young gal. Now, 24 years later, I've got me another young gal again. <laughs> Here's what Monica received in two surgeries. Facelift with cheek pad lift. Brow lift. Upper and lower eye lift. Fat injections to the face. Chin implant. Neck lift. Lipo of thighs and knees, <laughs> breast lift with enlargement, and tummy tuck. Then, photo facial, pore tightening treatment, and a new smile. What a journey from a mess to a masterpiece. Thanks to the Extreme Team.